Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had more Summer Heat content to go over today with a new Summer Heat fan vote and the re-release of another Party Bag SBC inside of this game. Uh, after we saw them do, what was it, like three Party Bag SBCs during Foot Birthday, and we got like four of them during Ultimate Team of the Season, uh, we knew they weren't done, and we saw the code yesterday, last night, before, uh, or actually after my video was going to come out, so I didn't talk about it in that video, but they released another Party Bag SBC today, the best of Release 1 Party Bag. So I want to talk about this SBC a little bit, talk about the Firmino uh, vote today, and of course talk a lot about the market, because I'm going to start to kind of give a preview of how I feel like the market's going to react in the next couple days and i need to talk about weekend league rewards especially because weekend league rewards this week is going to be a very very interesting time on the market it's going to be wild honestly with the set of rewards that's going to be out if you got elite if you got elite or above top 100 in, to elite in that range you're tradable you're basically your team of the week pack which is basically called a summer heat pack now and then reds are going to be super duper interesting and i kind of want to talk about that uh, at the end, because that's going to affect the market a, a lot, I think, this Thursday. But first things first, let's talk about this party bag SBC. According to Footbin right now, a lot of you guys have probably already done this SBC, but this cost is around 50K for this. And can I just make a comment about this really fast? It looks like EA took like a clip art Google image of a, a handbag and then put their logo on the side of it, slapped that on top of the of of the summer heat design and that's how they got this sbc i don't know i thought that was a pretty cheesy design today regardless uh 55k for this sbc is it worth it i've seen some people get decent stuff out of it i've seen some people get absolutely nothing out of it a lot of the cards that i'm seeing people pack i saw a lot of left wing sterlings today which i thought was pretty interesting that that card would have that high of a drop rate i mean it's right around the sbc value and it's a pretty usable card so i guess EA wants to give out a lot of Sterlings to get an English left side that, you know, would maybe want you to go be persuaded to go do the uh, the Marcus Rashford SBC so they could drain more coins out the game. That's probably not true at all. Um, I'm just being facetious. But I saw a lot of lower rated cards, a lot of uh, winter refresh cards being packed today as well. I myself packed Ake, which was a pretty familiar card that a lot of people packed. And that's a 46,000, 50,000 coin card. So just around the price of the SBC. It's fun to take a shot at though, right? Because you could, of course, pack a shapeshifter, you know, Messi, Ben Yedder, um, Marcelo, Ribery, Ronaldo, Conte. So the, the opportunity was there. And that's how it always is for these cards. But um, this also caused a lot of rise in some of the lower tier market today, the 82s and 83s on the market, because these cards, um, it was an 83 rated squad with 80 chemistry. That was the big thing that EA did today that was very annoying honestly this was one of the most annoying it, it literally took me like 10 minutes on stream to go and do this sbc and you've got some 83 rateds that are absolutely through the roof this draxler card is like 4,000 coins uh all 83s are 3k plus most 82s if it's got a good nation um like sergio roberto i think is right now extinct as an 82 rated card or basically extinct he's 10,000 coins or he was 10k earlier today uh, this right back 82 rated just for the amount of links that he has as I'm getting some sales, which is nice. Um, nice. Some nice team over inner sales. GG's van. Well, uh, you can still trade in this market and I'm going to talk a little bit, a little about a little bit about that today, but I did want to first talk about that, uh, party bag SBC fodder is still crazy, crazy high. It's expensive. It's inflated. And I don't really see it going down that much on the lower tier end just yet unless we don't get any sbcs today on wednesday then i possibly could go down a little bit on thursday maybe in the morning with um weekend league rewards coming out um we'll talk about that during the weekend league rewards segment but um the stuff that is starting to actually trickle down is the higher rated fodder 87s and above that weren't really needed for the sbcs that came out today these are actually starting to trickle down. Tevez, Hamdala, like these 92 rated cards I'm noticing especially. Even these 91s, a lot of these guys were hitting 70k on on Friday and Saturday. I think I sold Erickson for 80k on Saturday. Um, Tevez was was higher than this. Like uh, Tarapt was in the 90s on Saturday. Hamdala was 90k on Saturday. So 
a lot of these higher rated team of the seasons have started to drop off a bit. 94 rates, a lot of these guys were like 110 to 120. 93s were around 100,000 coins. I sold a Pozuelo for like 105 on the weekend, so he's down to 88. So some of these TOTS cards on the higher rated or the higher rated tier have started to fall down because there's a, a bit of a shift because people are now with the fodder they have in their clubs today, they didn't go and do Prime Icon SBCs. They went and did the new pack, which was the which was the party bag upgrade uh, SBC. So that's with a lot of like the focus, I guess, kind of switched to today, which is why you saw some of that higher rated fodder kind of trickled down in the past two days, or at least today, especially because more of the focus switched over to this, this best of party bag release one. I do think there is going to be a buy time for the high rated SBC fodder, especially team of the seasons. And I'll talk about that in a little bit as well, but I need to, I need to talk about Firmino, man. I have to talk about Roberto Firmino because this is going to be another very, very, very desirable and very, very sought after SBC that comes out. The first question I have to, to answer is, is this guy actually going to win? Because last time we had a Real Madrid player in the vote, he showed up in the first slot. I happened again this week. James Rodriguez, a very well-known Real Madrid, just a uh, very popular footballer in the world. Is he going to outwin and is he going to get more votes than Roberto Firmino? This time, I think it would be crazy if Roberto Firmino did not win. Last time with Kent, okay, yeah, you know, it actually makes sense that Jovic won that because he's Real Madrid. And just Kent is not really a known player to the casual user base. But Prem is king when it comes to the leagues in the world. The most popular league is the Premier League. And that's why I think Roberto Firmino, especially with him uh, being a Liverpool player, being Brazilian, that is a lot of pull. Like it's a lot of different places around the world where there's a lot of extra hype. The Brazilians that love Firmino, the the Liverpool fans that love Firmino, and just the fact that you know even as as FIFA fans, as hardcore FIFA fans, we're gonna get in on this vote as well. As Firmino's best card this year in the game is an 88 rated scream card and an 89 rated inform, which I think all of which are under like a hundred thousand coins at the moment. This is his best card in the game. He's five star, five star with his weak foot upgrade that he's gonna get on the the winning card for the the summer vote, summer heat fan vote. So he's gonna be a five star, five star center attack in mid or center forward. What they're gonna make him? This card's gonna be ridiculous if they give him a proper upgrade and a proper proper juice. I mean, I could see anywhere between ninety three and ninety five rated for a Firmino card, five star, five star. And what is this gonna cost? Because this is gonna be an SBC where EA knows a lot of people are gonna want to go out and do this. It's gonna come out on Thursday because there's a two day lag period from when they get the votes to when they put out the SBC. So Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, we should see this Firmino SBC coming out. I think based on the past SBCs and based on the price of Luka Jovic, I don't think the Jovic SBC is out anymore, if I'm correct on that. I think Jovic went away, um, I think. But they actually, Jovic was actually a little bit more expensive than some of the other SBCs that we've had. Perisic is sitting out here at 125,000 coins for that level of a card. And Jovic was 250,000 coins. This Rashford's right around 200k. So I think any, kind of my range for Firmino would be, if they want to make it really cheap and insanely good value, I feel like they'd make the Firmino SBC somewhere between the 550k range and like 850k range. Somewhere in there seems to be a bit you know, doable for me. And think about it this way. 800K seems like a lot, but right now, the high rated SBC fodder is really, really expensive. The prime icon SBC right now on FIFA Ultimate Team, this, is, this requires an 88 rated squad. And according to Footbin, this is a 270,000 coin SBC. So 270K, that price is down a bit. 270K for an 88 rated squad with a TOTS, with like medium low chemistry, 55 chem. If they did like an 86 and an 88 rated squad for Firmino, I think that would somewhere come around with the inflation of fodder that would happen if it's that cheap. I feel like that it would somewhere come around like 300,000 300, plus another like 200. So maybe like 550 to 600K if they did an 86 and an 88 rated squads, I still might feel like that be would that might be a bit cheap for you know, for that caliber of a Firmino card with that high of a rating, with that boost. So somewhere in the 550 to 800K range is what I think you can expect. And I would be interested if fodder drops a little bit more, especially like 87, 88 rated cards and some of the, like the 91, 92 team of the season cards, we're going to be watching that fodder very, very closely later on this week with weekend league rewards again, which I'll talk about in a minute. 
because th those cards could see a serious bump up in price when that Firmino SBC comes out because that's going to be an insanely, insanely popular SBC on Thursday when it comes out. Another SBC that came out today was this Rashford. You know, uh, I understand. I know why this, why they gave him this SBC. I'm a fan of it for the reasons why. I feel like, you know, just this card doesn't have a lot of hype, though, for a FIFA perspective. He does have the position change. He does have an upgraded four-star weak foot. But it's in between his foot birthday and in between the team of the season. So unless you're a Rashford fan and you hate playing somebody off chem, I would just get this card, even though it's a three-star weak foot, I would just get this card the team of the season. It's uh, about the same price as this SBC. You get a better card. And yes, he is a different position, but just maybe formulate your squad around him. Um, this SBC today, uh, of course, because of the movements that had Rashford made in the community a couple weeks ago, standing up for uh, for some very good things on Twitter and you know the, the, the things he spoke out for. So I'm that's a cool SBC again, but uh, just it's place in FIFA. Not a ton of hype in my opinion for that SBC today. That's just my opinion. We also got a pack supply SBC today, which did drop some prices on the market, which is why you see my transfer list right now is full with a lot of cards uh, that I bought today that were in packs. I bought some Varan, some Verners, a Dive of the Wees. And basically what I was doing with these cards is, again, I mentioned this in my last couple of videos. When we get tradable pack supply SBCs, what happens is a lot of these cards get kind of, you know, sold off a little bit on the market with the extra supply. And there's a, a window where you have an opportunity to buy the cards and they kind of bump back up and you have an opportunity to flip them, especially if it's a very meta and usable card. Like this Timo Werner headliner, this guy was 120,000 coins on Tuesday before the pack supply SBC came out. He's still really cheap, honestly, 95K for this card. Uh, I don't know why he's still maintaining this cheap of a price. It's kind of interesting to me, but I bought a couple of these today at like 87 and 90K. I still feel like I might be able to get 100K in the morning for that one. I bought Varans. Basically, what I started doing today was I looked into to starting to make some Thursday flip investments. And I would sincerely tell you guys to watch out for some of those today as well. If you're interested in making some Thursday flip investments, links to Firmino are going to be big. Brazilians in the Prem. Liverpool players. Those are the two things I would tell you to look at. Um, you can see a few of them on my transfer list right there that I'm starting to take take a watch for because I think this uh, this Firmino SBC is going to be it's going to be massive, it's going to be massive. A lot of people are going to want this, and they're going to have to link them somehow. So I kind of like this Felipe Anderson. If you can find him in like the 380 range, 390s on the PlayStation, I think it's a really good price for him. I was going to recommend Robertson. Uh, the left back, of course, Andrew Robertson, but his actually, his team of the season price has gone up a lot today. This card uh, is up like almost 25 to 30,000 coins from where he was earlier on the weekend. Uh, Robbo is 180K at the moment, 190 for his Tots card. And this Tots card was 150. This card was in the 150s earlier this week. So I'm not sure why he's, he's going up this much. I think it's just because of people starting to invest. People knowing that they would run that Firmino at center mid and they'd be able to make a nice little link triangle with maybe like Rabo with Firmino and then like Edder Militao or maybe like Mendy Militao and Firmino with like a Mane at left wing. So just be careful on some of that stuff. Maybe some link investments for Firmino could be good to look at today. Um, but today again is Wednesday. This is the one week mark of summer heat. A lot of people or even a couple of people have, have said, when is batch two? When are tots cards and foot birthdays coming into packs? That's not for another eight days. As you can see here on the on the loading, you know, tab at the bottom, the summer heat batch one cards are still in packs for another week. So we won't have team of the seasons, foot birthdays, and the rest of the special cards in all packs until these ones go out. And then we should see those come back into packs, but they are going to be in weekend league rewards. So again, today for the content, before we talk about weekend league rewards, I do feel like we're due another objective player. So last week on Wednesday, they dropped Mendy and they dropped Ndombele. It was a bang first day of the promo. Uh, I don't know if they're going to drop an objective and an SBC again today for the Wednesday, but I would expect an objective at the very least because Mendy has been here for a little bit. Cassie expires in two days and I feel like we're just due another objective. So we'll see if that happens or not, but I would feel like we get another player today uh, in some way, shape or form. We do get another either fan favorite or just a, uh, a summer heat SBC uh, player SBC uh, today. So I would kind of expect that. But let's talk about weekly rewards and what is going to happen 
to the market then because i know a lot of you guys are kind of curious about that and you might want to make some money or maybe buy a team there are 477 different special cards available this week from weekly rewards all all you know like special cards of all different tiers right we have team of the season so far as we've got ones to watches we've got road to the final and this is going to be super duper interesting to see what the weight is during rewards i'm so intrigued to see what ea does for the rewards and the weight on these cards now this link i'm going to put it in the description below if you want to check it out this is the list available to everybody of the cards that are in rewards this week it's basically all special cards foot birthdays team of the seasons team of the group stages it's basically every promo that we've had except for team of the year and like team of the year nominees uh basically every single promo this year is put back into packs and they're available from rewards so again what they had they have said is the week in league rewards um there is a couple like rating stipulations and and rating uh levels i guess you could say and we'll cover that really fast gold two plus any player pick packs earned will have a minimum of one special item above in the list with 90 or higher so i got gold two this week i did finish gold two and if you were in that boat as well you're going to have a, at least one player in each player pick is going to have a 90 or higher rated card so that tells me that it's most likely going to be a team of the season item i would think that the team of the season drop rate in these rewards is going to be higher than the rest of a lot of the cards like the fodder toss cards i feel like are going to have a decent drop rate because ea knows that hey we got to keep these guys we have to give them something decent in packs right team of the season fodder cards are decently priced and they're tots cards and that's like kind of the culminating promo right before summer heat so i feel like the tots cards will have a decent weight in rewards this week but the one that interests me is the tradable supply too, right? Tots are only getting supplied tradable on the market this week from Elite 3 or above in rewards. And the three player packs or the 11 player packs are going to be replaced with the best of containing three special items rated 90 or higher. So again, the Elite packs have the potential to be very, very good because it's 90 or higher for a lot of these. And if you look at this, this, this list of players, a lot of these TOTS cards are 90 or higher. And if you look at the cheapest players by rating as well, if you go at 90 rating and above, what do you have here? You've got a couple headliners, you know, you've got a, maybe a Conny Bowl player or two, a couple informs, you know, maybe a team of the group stage, like a Modric or Ter Stegen, um, an Ericsson winner refresh. But especially as you get to like a 92, 93, 94 rating, which I feel like these cards are going to pop a decent amount. If you're getting three 90 plus players, I would expect to see a decent amount of supply on the guys like Hamdala, Giovinco, Krusa, Gabriel, even guys like Ren, uh, Renato Augusto, Handanovic, Idrissi. The secondary league team of the season cards that are the you know 90 plus rating. Keep an eye on those very, very closely during the first couple hours of weekend league rewards because if those guys get supplied and they drop down a decent amount, like let's say Giovinco even, right? What was this guy's price before the prime icon upgrade? He was uh, 70K. That's maybe not the best uh, example, all right? Maybe not the best example right there. Let's find Steve Mandanda. Here's a good example. 92 rated Steve Mandanda. When he was in packs, was 44,000 coins. Slowly started to rise. We had more SBCs. And then last week, he went from 70K all the way up to 93,000 coins on the Prime Icon upgrade the day after that SBC released. Now he's kind of been chilling. Now he's down 10K. He was 88K. For the all weekend now he's down 10,000 coins if you would see this guy drop back down into like the low 70s or 60s even i would get very very interested very very quick because the only supply for these cards is going to be thursday the only supply is going to be thursday and again the major point of this promo if you keep thinking about it we have the prime icon spc that is still out when people get their rewards on thursday what are they going to do they're going to go out either do the firmino spc when it comes out at 6 p.m or they're going to do that and they're going to do can, can continue to do prime icon upgrades because what we saw with the mid icon upgrades when that was out for a long time people don't stop doing these people just continue to do these when they get coins and since this is so easy to do 88 rated one squad 55 chemistry you're going to see more people doing this on the weekend and even thursday after awards so watch the sbc fodder on the supply during the first couple hours of weekly rewards on 
Thursday when rewards do come out. Now that's my spiel about the fodder stuff, right? Pick a few cards that you could be interested in. A lot of good ones. I've already got on my transfer targets. I'm kind of watching them, right? The Pulsuelo, Oscar, Mateus, Perea, Hamdala. A lot of these cards are going to fluctuate a lot as they get into solutions. What about the rest of the cards, right? Think about batch one cards, shapeshifters, headliners, winner refresh. Those cards are still in all packs and weekly rewards. I am, I'm seriously, uh, I'm not holding any of these cards that I bought today until rewards. I'm going to be getting out of these before rewards 100% for sure. I was just doing a bit of fluctuation trading with these, with the supply they got today. Uh, but I'm absolutely getting these guys out because I know they're going to get supplied heavily on Thursday, but there's also going to be a rebound after rewards because, you know, like that Veron. People have got that Furlan Mendy that they've got now. They're going to go out and try to, you know, make a team with that this weekend. So you will see a rebound on some of the very meta cards that are in packs. Maybe Werner, you know, maybe Ibra a little bit, maybe this Veron card. Um, but I would be very careful about the supply that they're going to get during weekend league rewards. Tots cards for me, if you're looking for anything to buy during the first couple hours of rewards too, uh, you could even buy some of these cards before rewards. Like a guy like Lala, Hakimi, Felipe Anderson, Robertson, Upa Meccano, some of those guys that I've been looking at, even Shapeshifter Messi, these guys aren't going to get supplied that much. I don't think they're really going to get supplied much during rewards just because of just the, the massive player pool of cards that you can get and how rare these are. You will see some fresh ones come on the market. Like this guy's 400K right now. That's crazy. 395. These cards are just very, very rare. Think about like Varan as well. If I don't know if you guys have been following this, but some of the, I guess you could call it the glow up on some of these Tots cards and how rare they have gotten in the past couple weeks is unbelievable just due to some of the cards we've had come out in this game. Varan is 1.4 million coins after being, he's up like almost 500,000 coins. Ramos? Ramos's Tots card, right? Sergio Ramos, team of the season. This guy was under 800,000 coins when he was in packs a few weeks ago during La Liga team of the season. He's now 1.1 mil just because of the all the SBCs that have come out and the popularity of this card and how good he is in foot. So uh, do I think these cards prices are going to drop a lot? No. Could they get drop a little bit? Yes, but they're probably going to continue to rise back up as all the meta stuff will Thursday night into Friday for weekend league rewards. And a little bit of the market rise is also going to be dependent on how juiced and how OP rewards are this week. People, This week is like a trial week for this big set of rewards with all these new cards that we're going to see with just the player pool. It's so massive of rewards this week. So I would just be uh, cognizant this week. Watch some YouTube videos. Hop on my streams uh, when we're opening rewards Thursday night and see what these kind of look like. That'll give you a gauge of how much the market could continue to rise Thursday night into Friday. Um, with how much hype there is, depending on what these rewards look like on Thursday. So that's a long video, a lot of stuff we had to talk about. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. But seriously, today's a big day. Tomorrow's an even bigger day on the market. And we got another sale. Let's go. What is it? We got a, oh, my Skoko finally went on bid that I accidentally opened bid listed on stream. I'll take my 20K from the daily SBC. But again, if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.